always love to see GameCube games. Oh, Double Dash, sweet. Oh, look at all the third party controllers. Oh, all these plug and play, cool. What do they have? Double Dash and Collector's Edition. Well, mm -hmm. how much did you want for the whole GameCube lot? $30. I'd give $30 for those two games for sure. You want to go half and half, Fanta? Sure. Alright. Look. Take a look. Gran Turismo, Black Label, um, Sonic Tennis, day one buy. Um, oh yeah. Three bucks? Do you have Tomb Raider 3? Yeah, I have like every Tomb Raider. A hundred so times good. over. Mortal Kombat 4 for a dollar? Yeah. So you asking, you asking a buck for this too? Yeah. Alright, sweet. Some of this stuff's been like through three or four yard sales. So right. You know how that goes. I got gotcha. you. Twisted Metal Black? Yeah, I picked that up for a buck. I already have it on the PS3. That's a sick game. Disturbed me as a child. Oh, nice condition disc. Well, I'll spend a buck on it. Dude, that is sick. Jungle Green. Sign me up. And the. That is so cool. Yeah. You really need to look under it. You can see through it. <laughs> they have games coming up? Yep. That's cool. Definitely making an offer on this one. Yep. Donkey Kong, huh? Yeah, so that's it. You think that's it? Do you know how much you wanted for this? What do you want to give me? Um. Donkey Kong 64, huh? Do you have any idea at all or what you want to do this? Or? No, I don't. I'll be honest with you, I don't know. Okay. Bookman's, huh? That's funny. Glad to find an NHL game. I just got into hockey this last couple oh, yeah? months. Probably just go around with that. Hey, inside now. Do you have Banjo Kazooie? Uh, I do. do you know okay. that? No, I do. Banjo Tooie is the one I can never find anywhere. I think the the white controller doesn't work very well. Oh, okay. Oh, but the green one does. Okay. Yeah, the white one's one of those like third parties that wasn't even made by Nintendo. Right. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, right, right, right. Can you give us a ballpark and we can work go from there? Twenty-five. Would you twenty? So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because we split I'll everything. Get your bag and, and all right, thank you. All in there. Okay. Are you guys? Uh, I don't know. I, you guys, you guys look for those? Oh, uh, we game collect. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah we have a big I collection. Your, uh, old Nintendo uh, yeah, controller. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, they got Brawl, eh? And Halo Reach. They got a lot of nice new games. Five bucks each. Well, I think I will then. World at War is such a sick game. It's back when Call of Duty was fun and awesome. Uh, War is my favorite. Wait, World of War is in here? Fucking Red Ant, dude, Jesus Christ. Mm. I wind up spending lots of money. Avatar the game, here it was shit. What's the one? Avatar the game. Oh, yeah. Well, the movie wasn't very good either. Beast Rider. Well, five bucks for 360 games. No, can't go wrong with that. Right, I wasn't a fan of that Army 2 game. They don't have any other games, do they? Hmm? They don't have any other video games anymore, do they? Actually. Ask them, because that's where they have one Wii game. Don't you think that that's weird they have one Wii game? Yeah. There's a reason I'm not buying it. 
Oh, you know I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this to Zach because he oh. got rid of his Halo Reach. Oh really? And now we like miss it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Do you guys have any more Nintendo Wii games? I s oh, you have some more games right here. Oh. Wow. Super Nintendo games. Here's your Super Tennis. Yeah. The Rain Man. Dude, this game, Bugs Life, was actually a good game. Really? Tiny Tank, day one by. Original Rayman. Green Label. Mega Man 2. Mega Man Legends 2. Are you buying all those? I'm going to try to buy five so that I can just give a $20 bill. Super Battle Tank. Too bad they're all sports games on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we don't need machine. parts for an Xbox. What's that? Like, do you have a red ringed Xbox that yes. you want to sell? How much do you want for it? How much do you think? Red ring. The okay. only reason, the only reason I would buy it is for the power supply. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, I'd give you like five bucks for one, to be honest. If you want to get rid of it. I wouldn't trust him. He'd probably fake money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you? <laughs> What do you think about this Golden Axe game? Right. Terrible. No? Okay. I'll pass on it. Okay. And a fat PS2. I'm gonna have to buy that too. Where? Right there. <laughs> we, we're a little short on cash, dude. For that much. That's sick though. But yeah, do you, do you have the Game Boy and everything for this? Or? Uh, no, I think I sold that. But let me see if I have any other stuff. Yeah, because you got Nintendo oh, stuff. Sick, oh, sick, yeah, dude. Oh, the soundtrack? Yeah. yeah. That's sick. Yeah, we're like Nintendo collectors, so if you have any Nintendo stuff floating around, dude, we'll buy it. Okay. Power Ranger stuff, awesome. Oh, dude, I remember these. Like McDonald's or something. These are sick. This came out when the uh, Game Boy came out. 1997. That Game Boy case was sick. It's not as cool as the one that is like a Game Boy, though. That one's way cooler. The one that's just a giant Game Boy box Complete thing. Complete inbox Gamecom games. Woo. Day one buy. I'm buying this Halo 2 soundtrack. The Halo 2 soundtrack was sick. It was so good. Criss Cross Crash. Dude, I remember that from the 90s. That was so raw. It was like Hot Wheels and they went through an intersection against each other. This little crisscross crash thing up here. I had one of those. Yeah, it was sick. I didn't actually have one, sadly. Yeah, I remember that. Mic check. What is going on, YouTube? It's White Hair once again with Fant Icarus. And, uh, it's, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Never bad. Again. So well, excuse bad. me, princess. And today was a. <laughs> Never oh again. God. Never again. We're done. We're done. Pick up videos over, everyone. Uh, today was today was a really good day. Um, really, pretty much consistently good. We had a yeah. forty-five minute bout with nothing, but uh, when we saw the trunk load afterwards, it wasn't a big deal that we went forty-five minutes without finding anything. Let's jump right into it. Uh, Ten minutes again, just like last time we went yard selling. Ten minutes into the yard selling, we already had a pretty good find. Um, for $30 cash, which we, 
We didn't overpay. It was a really good deal. It was a good deal. Really, just, really was, good deal. I was but... hoping to barter a little bit, but it's fine because we, we thought it was worth it. Haggle. Was more. Haggle. I hate when people say it. Barter is trading. Haggle. Sorry. Haggling is Haggle. getting a discount. Everyone says it though. It's not just you. Yeah. But uh, for 30 bucks, I got Mario Kart Double Dash. Fanta got Zelda Collector's Edition, which I actually don't have, so that's kind of cool to add in my collection. I'll probably swap out the uh, case for a better one, but you know, I mean, it's complete in box. Mine's um, complete too, but the manual looks like... See, that's why I switched mine around, because it'll like flatten it. The manual got like bent or something. Oh, know. the game isn't in the greatest condition, though. It'll, it'll, it'll work. work. It'll work, it's just aesthetically... It's not aesthetically pleasing. Exactly. That's that one has Eli written on it. Eli. Well, whatever. I'll probably... The good thing about not having perfect condition games is that Trading. you now have something to look forward to. Like, good if point. I find this game in condition, then I'll get rid of this one. But right now, this is my only black label copy of this game. So. Oh, yeah, because the other one's... Uh... I don't even see it back there. The other one, the other one's in my roommate's room, probably. But um, yeah. So that was that. And Fanny, you got the GameCube as well. Uh, GameCube. I I don't. Does anybody want a GameCube? We'll so one that. of our subscribers wanted a GameCube. If you're that guy, I don't remember Shout who it is. down there. Send me a message. No offense, and I'm not trying to ignore anyone, but we. I mean, I get hundreds of messages a week and comments and stuff, so it's really yeah. hard to keep track of who wants what. One of our subscribers really wanted a GameCube, so drop the go, drop an inbox message. Yeah, because we'll I have out. four of them, so. Just let me know. Yeah, we, we, we both have quite a few. So. Uh, and then also, can, uh, nicely though, it did come with the... Uh, these are such a pain to find. The uh, EV cables and the power cables. So that's really nice that it came with that. I mean, if you wanted to like... If you were to sell these separately, it'd be like 50 bucks. I mean, that's... Possibly. Just because of how hard these are to find, the fact that the AV cable works on these Super Nintendo's are really I'll buy... Cool. I literally will buy systems from time to time just to get the AV cable and if the system's cheap enough. it came with a bunch of crappy controllers. Like, they're all gross. third party. Yeah. This one's first party, but it's purple, so it's kind of like... Came with four controllers. It, you don't see controllers, whatever. Yeah, we see Mad Cat's controllers. All that for 30 bucks. Uh, so then, that was at 7, 10 a.m. We went 45 minutes. Um, was, actually, it was probably about an hour. It was right after 8 o'clock yeah. that we found our next video games. Uh, they were sitting out at the cell, actually. And I got, by Fanta's recommendation, Twisted Metal Black. I believe I played this. I know I played the earlier ones on PlayStation 1, but I think I played this one as well. Oh, my Mortal Kombat guy. Oh, that's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I got uh, Mortal Kombat 4 uh, complete, of course. I mean, you can see the art, but I didn't even know this game existed, to be completely honest. I mean, and did you? No, I didn't. I thought it went up to Mortal Kombat 3, honestly. I thought it went to 3, and then they and then started obviously making, the new generations, uh, they made more, but... Yeah, but 4... Let's look it up. Maybe it's rare or something. I've never seen it. I don't, it I don't know. Yeah. And I got for, I think what we paid a dollar for these? A dollar each? Oh, yeah. I got a Sonic mm -hmm. Tennis game. Um, I don't know one thing about yeah, it, but... Yeah, it comes with an Xbox game, too. Yeah, but for one dollar, it, it, I like tennis games a lot. I love Mario Tennis. That was horrifying. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Your roommates are scary, dude. Yeah, they're a little weird. And you showed up Twisted Metal Black, too, right? Yeah, I did. Disturbed me as a child. Great Disturbed game. Fanta a lot. Okay, we'll get to one of the bigger finds of the day. Uh, Fanta. Fanta got this one all on his own. He got the people to go inside and get it. Uh, when we saw this come out, it was just like, wow. Uh, Jungle Green N64. Gorgeous. With the expansion pack, as you can see right there. Gorgeous system. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to try to untangle this, but it came with the power in the AV as well. A controller with a kind of loose stick. You need some Viagra or something. Now, I got a quick question for you. Did all the Jungle Green models come with that expansion? Uh, or is that something you had to buy separately? I don't... I don't honestly know. I'm pretty sure you had to buy that separately still. Because didn't some of the later model systems come with it in already? I think they did. I know games, some games included it, but I don't think any of the systems did. Oh, okay. Maybe I know not. Donkey Kong included it. In the is, box, yeah. Which is why. Right. So maybe... I don't know, maybe it did come with... Because it's jungle green, so you think it would come with Donkey Kong and the uh, expansion. Or possibly. I know, something we'd have to look up. We'll have to look it up. But it does come with Donkey Kong 64, which is a really fun game if you haven't played it. Uh, Namco Museum 64. I've seen a million copies of that game. Never one on N64. No, no. We always see it on GameCube and stuff. Uh, <laughs> like a two-cent game here. NHL. Property of Blockbuster. <laughs> it's like ancient ruins. of. one by. Banjo Kazooie, another great game. A Bookman sticker all over the label as usual. Yep, uh, in 07 it was worth $12. Bookman Kazooie. 2007. Too bad, Banjo Tooie. Still, yeah, still haven't found it. 
Uh, and then Blitz 2000. Awesome game. And that was the uh, that was the NCT That was a lot. We'd pay twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. Twenty dollars so for that, which was ridiculous. That's really good. Um, that's a sick system. The next yard sale. I wish every yard sale looked like this. Oh yeah. All the, this was just crazy. Xbox 360 games listed as five dollars a piece, and then wait until you see the games we got for a dollar a piece. That was where it got ridiculous. But I didn't get any of those dollar a piece games. You should have hopped in on that. I should have. I should have. Let's jump in on these. Though. Alrighty. So I found Call of Duty World at War complete in box for five bucks. Now I've been actually wanting to play this game again just because it's got the uh, and original the Nazi zombies. And it's got the gore that Call of Duty games don't have. Like you yeah, yeah, I remember. And stuff. I remember like you shoot people's legs off, and like you can see their intestines and whatnot. You want to shoot? Uh, yeah, I got Halo Reach. Own this game, but have a friend that traded in the GameStop like an idiot a couple like a year ago. So I'll probably just give him this game so that when we want to get on it again, we can. Because Halo Four gets old sometimes. Uh, Left 4 Dead Two, five bucks. It's not bad because GameStop tries to rip people off and say, "Oh, forty dollars. Who's selling it used?" No way. But uh, it's only worth like twenty. But I mean, five bucks. You can't beat that. Sadly, they already no, not for these two sixty games. Uh, another good title here. I used to own this. Gears of War three. I traded this into GameStop way back when. Like, I'm not oh. a smart person. Uh, and I wanted to play it again. I was thinking about buying it, but for five bucks, I did buy it, and now I have it again, and won't get rid of it this time. So then I really was glad to see what really made me like just start like made my jaw drop. Just made me like, what? I need to buy this as soon as possible. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, five bucks, completing box, great condition. We just bought one awesome. for five dollars last time we went yard selling together. Oh yeah, that's huh. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, I took that because you took Mario Sunshine. Um, that's funny. And then here's where it gets crazy. It's always funny to see them have generic shooters for five dollars a piece, and then games like this for one dollar. Mega Man Legends 2. Now the case is cracked and it's not complete. It doesn't have the front manual. Uh, it does have the back art there, but oh, and Blockbuster sticker on it. You said this game sucks. Uh, let me see. I just knew it was valuable as hell. Okay, I haven't played this one. I played the uh, I haven't played the Extreme Legends one. I guess I played I, one this, of the It's like an one. RPG, isn't it? It looks it like not? one. I don't know. I knew that. I mean, ten years ago, I knew that this game was really valuable. So today, I knew it was for a dollar. I wasn't even a second guess at all. Bought it for a dollar. Um, some other games I got for a dollar here. Tiny Tank. Black label for PlayStation 1. Complete. Good condition. That's kind of cool looking. Crash Warped. Just kind of, we always buy the Crash games to at least stick around with them. Yeah. They're uh, really good platformers, I think, and kind of underrated. The PlayStation. When you think platformers, you think N64. You don't think about the PlayStation. I thought Crash was there's, really there's good. There's some good platformers in the PlayStation. Yep. And speaking of good platformers, there's a Raymond game. It looks like, like the original like one. Like 3D? Uh, yeah. no, besides that one. Uh, green label, but still complete and in really good shape. Mm -hmm. All that for a buck. Uh, last one I got there. Super Battle Tank 2 for the Super Nintendo. They had Super Nintendo games. We got excited. All sports. All sports games, Super literally, Nintendo. besides this one here. So I spent a buck on that. Um, okay, so the next yard sale we went to was a few minutes later. And Fanta got distracted by a bunch of magic cards at it. But yeah, I saw. Um, it looked like he bought fat packs of like he bought those the, huge. The, those boxes are from fat packs. Yeah. So I was hoping to see like a ton of cards for really cheap, but then when I opened it, I could tell this guy knew what he was looking he at. He took out the I mean, good he cards. Like he knew left us. So. He knew a lot more than us, and he because he knew what all those cards were worth. Oh yeah. We don't know anything about magic. What he doesn't he know, know about play magic. That's about it. What he doesn't know about price wise is how much his old video games were worth, and that worked into our advantage. What do we pay? Two dollars a piece. Two dollars a, a piece for these games. Uh, and this is Silent Hill Three. Great condition. Oh, look at that! Look at it. it's trying to track the face. Sorry, I get distracted. Anyway, uh, it came with the game, the manual, and that the case right there, and the soundtrack. So that's kind of cool. It's a creepy ass soundtrack, I'm sure. Two bucks, really good value for Silent Hill games. Silent Hill games are always a good buy. You need to do a playthrough of this one. Oh god, dude, Silent the first Hill. one scares me, and really? that's like. Poly polygraph, old polygraph. Polygraph. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, lie detector. Um, and I got for two bucks a game. I don't know anything about Full Metal Alchemist Two. I just know that I saw the square on it. I saw it was two bucks, so yeah, I, I picked it up. Always pick those up. Uh, it's not complete. It doesn't have its manual, but it does have this bonus DVD. Um, any of you anime guys, tell me, drop a comment, let me know what the heck this game is, is it all good? about. Is it a good show? I don't know. Is it a good game? I don't know. It's like half DVD, half game, but. 
still really good buy. And two bucks is such a low price you don't have to second guess it. If you if you get burned on it, who cares? It's two dollars. Exactly. No one cares. Um, last yard sale we got, we didn't get a whole lot of this on film because we got some of it. This guy was trying to like liquidate his entire childhood basically, and he ended up giving us all of this stuff for free. Well, not all of it. I paid one dollar for. And actually, it's not here. We didn't bring it up from the car, did we? What is it? The Halo soundtrack. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't find it. Well, I paid a dollar for the Halo 2 original soundtrack, uh, which is a really cool CD. Really good soundtrack as well. One of my favorites. With the electric guitar riffs yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It was sick. Um, and then he gave us all of this, all these boxes for free, which was really, really cool. I didn't actually open them. So I might have like the, They're not Maybe the inserts. They got the manuals yeah, and everything. So they just cool. the games, but oh well. I'll give you like half of them. Okay. Yeah. Day one buy. Alrighty. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie Game Boy Box. This guy had, and I mean literally thousands of dollars in Power Ranger stuff. He was looking, he's probably going to sell it on eBay. Yeah. All these boxed toys and stuff from the 90s. It was, I, I hope I got it on the film. I don't know if I did, but it was really cool. Uh, Will of Fortune for Game Boy. Nothing too exciting. Uh, a box for the memory pack that. Came with, I, I don't know why the box is so big for just a memory pack, but... Uh, I guess it's just the size of all N64 it's boxes. Mint. It's pretty cool. Kind of a cool thing for a collector, I guess. Um, DuckTales 2 for Game Boy. The box only. So I might go on eBay and just buy these games just so I have a complete in box. This box That's is a little cool. bit beat up. It's got that damage you can see up there. And I have an extra one of these at home, so I guess I'll just throw it in. Uh, the Turbo Ram expansion pack thing. For the N64 box, and I think it has the inserts as well. Let me check. Yeah, it's got the inserts, it's got the manual and everything. How much did those cost back in the 90s? I don't like know. 20 bucks I, I didn't buy one because it came with my Donkey Kong game. I didn't honestly didn't have any of the games that required it. Really? I didn't have Majora's Mask, no. You didn't have any of the good games? No, Man. or Donkey Kong Country. Oh. Uh, there's plenty of good games that didn't need it. Um, I got Power Rangers for the Game Boy. This looks like the fighting game. There was a Power Rangers game on Game Gear that was really, really, really good. It was a 2D fighter, and uh, the first part of the level, you were a Power Ranger fighting putties and stuff. A good game on the Game Gear? Really good game on the Game Gear. That's and fun. then the second part of the level was like the boss fight, and that was where you were in the Megazord, and you fought you know, whoever the boss was, and it was like a Street Fighter type fighter. That's sick. Really, really good game. So that is, I guess that's all we have. I felt like we had more, but I'm not complaining about that by no. any means, but... Really, really good day. Um, we spent, I don't know, spent 50 bucks, $42, something, I don't know. 50. We both spent 150 bucks on hundreds of dollars, stuff that would cost hundreds on eBay if we were to buy it on eBay. So, a uh, really good day. And we are out. Anything else you have to say? Anything you want to add? Uh, we're doing Fantasy Finds pretty soon, aren't we? Oh, God. I hope we, yeah, we'll try to do a Fantasy Finds soon. Maybe we'll do it right now real quick or something. I don't have anything with me. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not doing it right now. Well, it, it might... Maybe like we always tomorrow. get we always get together to do fantasy finds and we end up playing magic or doing stuff we shouldn't be doing. So um, well we will get one up eventually. Fantasy finds soon. Just watch the uh, and eternal, back video. Eternal darkness, baby. Eternal darkness sequel greenlit. I, I'm on my summer now. We need to play We're this. doing a playthrough of this because this is the best survival horror game ever. And the sequel is so. coming out, yeah. Yeah, or I don't know if it's a sequel or like spiritual successor. successor I don't know, yeah. but Shadows of the Eternals or whatever. It's coming out soon. Really excited about that. Might be a reason finally to buy a Wii U. Or maybe not. You have a gaming Is it only on the Wii U? No, it's PC as well. You have a gaming PC, don't you? Eh, I'm going to start building one once I get my new job. Okay. Right now. So if, if you get your new job. Hopefully. Let's not count our chickens up with the hatch. No, no. All right. Well, we're out, guys. Um, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.